question came up regarding uh, doing uh, results surveys in FEMAP, so I've created uh, the model that was requested. So this is 850 plates, and uh, looks like my math's a little bit off. I ended up with 153 beam elements, but roughly a, a thousand element model ends up being 918 nodes. Uh, I wrote a quick API that generated 600 load sets, random nodes just picked with a force, so that's uh, really not a beautiful FEA model from a cool loading standpoint, but they're just random point forces in there so we can get a big uh, NASTRAN result set. So I'm going to go ahead and run uh, NASTRAN now. It's running right here on my laptop. And while it's running, we could, looks like the solve's already complete. It's probably cranking doing the back substitution to create all the results for those 600 sets. It's done. Uh, FEMAP's reading in. I'm actually creating the empty output sets now and reading in the data. Uh, so it's getting all the displacements, the stresses, calculating anything that's not there. So here it's doing the the calculations and storing it all to the database. So 300, 400, 500, 600, we've got the results. Now the rankings are uh, pretty straightforward. We actually wrote a tool to do this uh, in the last uh, maintenance release of FEMAP requires that I bring up the data table. So I'm just going to pop open the FEMAT data table, uh, unlock it, and this is the neat thing. Let's say the first thing we want to do is just find the max uh, von Mises stresses for the plates. We have this list output results ranking to data table. And I'll just take the defaults here just so we can, and there, there's some options in here that depend on how you want to do this, but we're just going to grab the top five max value. Uh, you can multi-select. Here's all my 600 output sets. I can just box pick across them and toggle them all on. And then come down here in my output vectors and find top by Mises stresses. And then uh, include similar. So this will go get bottom by Mises and I'll get the corners too. So in one shot here, we're going to go grab all the maximum von Mises stresses for. And it's asking me what elements to pick. And I can just say by type. And go pick one plate out of the model and just say more just make sure we're getting them there's all our plates say okay it's cranking through all 600 sets for 850 elements there the data is already in so here's my data by by set id right now it's subdivided as we told it to but so it, within each set now i'm getting my top five uh, von mises stresses i could just uh, pop this over to excel with a copy or uh, also a neat thing we can do here is let's just bring this back in and now it's not even subdivided by set. I can now just go right up and down here and just say uh, I can find my top von Mises stresses instantly for the entire thing and see that it's element 629 uh, in this set ID so for load set 418 and I can actually turn on the highlighter here and have FEMAP show me who element 629 is. So, uh, oh no, it looks like it's probably, that's the rank is coming out there, so it's not showing it to me, but window, show entities, element 629. So there's my worst von Mises stress. And I know it comes from output set 418. So then we could go in here and just take a look at that. Let's change this to 418. It's got von Mises stresses. Say OK. And there's our picture. Must have that little load right there. Uh, so ranking is uh, pretty easy and pretty straightforward.